Hi bead buddies and welcome back to my YouTube channel Kelly Prepster Studio. My name is Kelly and John my husband is Hello here everyone. with us today. He is the editor of my channel. He edits all the videos so he is right here along with us on this journey of my small business kellyprepsterstudio.com which is always linked down below in case you guys want to check it out. So we have hinted in all of our live streams which by the way we go live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. and John's usually there commentating in the background why we make there. bracelets. It's so much fun. You guys have heard them. You guys have been a part of our bead buddies hangouts and and we thought it'd be funny to, well not funny, but also helpful to try and teach John how to make a bracelet. I don't know how helpful it'll be for, I, think, I don't, I don't know. Like, so John has never made a bracelet before. Never touched elastic in my life. And I probably have made over a thousand of them. And I've done tutorials on how to make them and I thought it might make my tutorial a little bit better if we have John here as a newbie. We might learn something new about so, how to make a bracelet. Like if he's struggling, maybe you guys are struggling in the same spot so I could stop and show you guys how to do it. I hope this is helpful. Be sure to give it a Big thumbs up if you guys like videos like this. If you want more videos with John, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to use our hashtag bead buddies in the comments because at the end of every video, I do a comment of the day shout out and your comment could get picked for my next comment of the day in my upcoming video. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join our bead buddies family and let's get all of our supplies out. Let's do it. So <laughs> we are splitting the desk 50-50 right now. We are gonna be working with pony beads today. These are from the brand Go Create. They're assorted pony beads. I think these are from Amazon or Hobby lobby i have them linked down below in case you guys want to check it out these are like my og colors but they also used to come with this tray and this is how i measure all of my bracelets so this across is seven inches i have an extra one for john so excited john's gonna be using our kelly prepster go create which is now hello hobby elastic super great this is a 0.8 millimeter elastic i'm gonna be using my stretch magic 0.5 millimeter and we both have a pair of scissors you want to show your scissors red <laughs> so we've moved our bead kit right here if you guys can see that and i always recommend i like to keep my elastic on the spool while i'm making my bracelet so you want to find the end of your elastic i think i've already got it Looped okay out. and so you're going to grab it and put your spool i'm right-handed i think you are as well yep, I'm right so you're going to put it on your left side okay. and then i like to put my scissors on this side i just find that this really helps especially as you're getting new to becoming a bracelet maker okay my scissors are on this side okay and then you're going to pick a color out of the beads and of course you know I'm gonna pick pink. I'm gonna go for orange. <laughs> You're gonna make orange? Yes. Be like a burrow bracelet. Yeah so you could just grab a few and and so you can put them on your tray you can grab them out of there it just kind of depends you can make a pattern if you want. Whatever. I don't know if I'm quite <laughs> advanced enough for pattern making yet. I thought pony beads would be the easiest way to start. Yes So like I if agree. you guys are new to bracelet making like John I would start with pony beads. They're really easy to do and I really like them and I think they make really cute bracelets. Okay, so John chose to put them on the tray. I like that. I do that in my video. You do? Oh, you do. I was just following along. Yeah. I edit the video so I follow along with what you do. And so you're just going to thread it through the pole and then put it through the elastic and you're just going to fill up the whole tray. So again, our tray is seven inches and I've Googled in the past and that's just kind of the average wrist size. And of course, with using elastic string, that makes it really like helpful. Again, some people might need smaller or bigger. I just find that that's the average. And so I'm going to be doing glittery pink. John's got like the neon orange. For the bangles, of course, even though we're not playing anymore. Who day? You guys want to tune in on our lives on Tuesday, our little pup Burrow. He was named after Joe Burrow. <laughs> <laughs> He's always popping up in the live streams. He gets so excited when we go live. It's so cute because like he sees the tripod coming out and he just freaks. He's so cute. You're doing a really good job. This is the relatively easier part. I'm scared for the knot. Do you think having the elastic attached to the spool is helpful because it's not moving? Yes, it's not as dangly, and I feel like I would uh, accidentally drop it off the end of the thread. Now, some people tape it down, and I thought I think that's a good idea, too. That's a good idea. I didn't think about that. Yeah. I think I'm picking this up. I think you got it. I think the hardest part's going to be tying it. Yes. And I hope I do a good job explaining it. I do have a video on my channel if you guys want to see a better in-depth video of that on how to tie the knot. I think next, if I successfully do this, again, I might not successfully do this, we should do, uh, oh my gosh, you're already done? Oh my <laughs> lord, you're putting pressure on me here. We should do how to bead spinner. We oh my gosh, we could make it a whole series. Uh -huh. that Teaching would me be how to fun. make every kind of bracelet from scratch. I think you would like it. I We're gonna need like some it. bracelet making people. I know. When we start getting more orders. I'm gonna need to know. It's my first bead I sent flying, which I'm you're happy okay, about. You're okay, you're doing great. Do I, I wanna leave some wiggle room I at the end? I usually do like one extra bead at the end. It's kind of weird. You think that's, <laughs> is that good or more? I think you added a lot of beads. Or do I have too many? <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> That's okay. Uh, um, we could take some off. Yeah, maybe take like four or five of them off. We can do that. See, we're learning. We're learning. See, you were like right on pace. You got this. Okay, so then what I like to do is, this is kind of the hard part. Oh no. So what I like to do is I'll hold the spool. Okay. And I'm gonna lift this up high and get it so that I have like four inches. That's plenty. And then you're gonna do this where you match it so there's four inches on the other side. Now this is a little wasteful of string, but I find as- Like that? That is perfect. And so then you're gonna Show grab- Show it for a, let the bee buddy see it. <laughs> and so then you're gonna grab it right here and drag it over to the other end. Sorry, I kind of went ahead on that. Like that? So you're gonna go like this. Yep, I got it. grab both. So you're gonna grab it. Thread. And then you're gonna lay, kind of laying it down on the tray helps. I just grabbed it the wrong spot. Oh, you're okay. I think having extra really helps. No. I think I brought a little too much extra. <laughs> but it does make a difference when tying the knot, especially as like How's that? as you get great. So then you're gonna pinch it, and you're gonna get your scissors, okay, and you're gonna cut the attached one. So see how this one's the loose one, yep. this one's attached. You're gonna cut it. You're gonna keep your fingers on it. You're gonna grab down here. Okay. So you're gonna grab down here. And what I like to do is so then you're gonna stretch it. So this oh, is pinching. Oh, you grab it with your dominant hand. Let me grab it with the yep. same hand. Stretch so it. So pinch it together. And then you're going to put two fingers. Okay. Hold pinch on. it together. Pinch it together. Stretch it a little bit. Just a little bit. Both of them. There you go. Then you're going to wrap it around your two fingers. I'm going to watch you do it. And you're going to hold it down here and feed it through. Does that make sense? I can show you again. So you're going to pinch, stretch. Pinch, stretch. Wrap it around two fingers. I think the problem is it's sliding around in my top fingers. Do you want to try mine? Mine might be a little stretchier. I think I should be able to get it. It's kind of hard, but I know you can do it. Oh, I know. Pinch, Pinch stretch. stretch. Wrap it around your two fingers. So you're going to wrap it around yeah. two fingers. Okay. And then you're going to... So see how when I do this, yes. I pinch it and I'm holding all four strings. And I'm going to feed the little two strings through the hoop and pull it down. Feed the two strings <laughs> through the hoop. <laughs> Where's the hoop? I don't have a hoop. Okay, okay. So wrap it around your two fingers. It's wrapped. Okay, not as tight. Like you kind of want it to be a loose little wrap. Oh, okay. I thought it needed to be a tight wrap. And then you're going to pinch this part with your fingers. Right there? Yep. And then you're going to feed the two ends through the circle. So pull your finger out. There you go. You almost got it. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. I just don't know how to explain it. I'm just trying to take my time with it. Through. I think you got it. Okay, so then pull it. And so this is the best part. So then once you have it pulled, you're going to take both of these. And Should I of, tighten it all the way? Yep. Should I push it down? Push it down. You want to push it all the way down. And then, I made it a little high. That's okay. It's your first person. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay, okay. I think I saved it. Do you want me to show you how to do it again? I think I saved it. Okay. Nope, I didn't save it. So you're going to hold down here like you've been holding it. Wrap it around your two fingers. Pinch. Pinch. So see how I'm pinching that? Yep. And then feed it and through the loop. feed it through. And then you're going to pull it down. And so what I find that helps with pulling it down is keep the pinch on the bottom. Okay. And pull the two strings up. Well, why is my knot not tying? And then so if you actually, like, not to grab it out of your sure, hands. go ahead. If you do this, ah. it'll go down. Ah. So pull it kind of top. There you go. And so then now what you're going to do is you're going to put your two fingers like this. Hold on, restart for okay. me. So you're going to hold it. You're, yep. you're pulling it. Holding it. You're going to put your two fingers, hold it this way like a motorcycle. Oh, like a motorcycle. Bicycle. Okay, a motorcycle. That, that's a really <laughs> okay. good Okay, okay. you're going to like this. Then you're going to twist your wrist. Two fingers. Okay. So I'm doing that right? Yep. And then you're going to pull, put this elastic. From this finger over here. Yeah. Basically, you're just gonna do a four knot. I don't. I don't know how to. So explain. am I going through this? Like yep. this one? Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, I messed it up. Okay, let me show you. So you're gonna hold I it. it like that. Yeah, and then you're gonna pull it down. Like pull the top two ends mm -hmm. together. I do it. I think you did it. And I usually do two or three of those, but I'm gonna show you a trick. So when you do that again. So I guess there's another way to do it too. You just kind of make the crisscross. Yes, yeah. like just a tie and a shoe. Yep, okay, but you're gonna double loop it. So do it once, and then you're gonna feed it under it again. So just two shoe knots. And then pull it down. Well, that's easy. And then we're gonna go back to the original one. So now at this point you have like three knots. You're gonna put the strings together, okay. and we're gonna do the over under one again. Okay, I think I got that down pat now. You did it. 
and then pull your knot at the bottom. And then if you really want to seal that knot, for the last one, yeah. do one more shoelace knot. One more shoelace knot, okay. You you explained that a lot better, like a shoelace. <laughs> they also call Double it Double like shoelace? A, nope, just a regular one, and you'll be good. My knot's a little thicker. Well, that's another knot. perk of doing thicker knots, is the pony beads have such a big hole opening that okay. they hide it. So then just kind of do a little stretch test. Look, you did it! Did I do it? Yeah. Oh my gosh! And so then we're just going to cut the extra dangly parts off. I will say mine's a little loose from redoing my knot. <laughs> this is not my best pony bead bracelet I've ever made, but it does do the job. You did it! There we go! How's Would it you? feel? Look, you did it! I can try it on, I can wear it. Oh, oh I can yeah. wear it! I think it looks good. I'm so proud of you. I can't even tell where the knot is, it's and hidden. So you hide the knot. Look at that. We John did it. Did it. He, Success check mark. He could sell that bracelet if he wanted to. I think it overall. It turned out really good. good. It I looks like it. so good. Tell me which one in the comments is your favorites. <laughs> Mine's the a little loose. Or the orange. <laughs> so let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to use our hashtag bead buddies. Do you want to do it? Oh, um, because if you use the hashtag bead buddies in the in the comment of today's video, you could be potentially featured in the next comment of the day shout out. Which speaking of, here is today's comment of the day shout out. <laughs> Thank you so much for leaving such a fun and kind comment. It seriously means the world to us. And we're so happy to have you on our YouTube community. This was such a fun video. This was a blast. I, oh, yes. I want to come back for more. I, I'm thinking we need to have a special guest feature every week where I make the bracelets. Oh my gosh, I would love that. Mm -hmm. I feel like you know so much from editing all the videos. Like you knew the words. I've watched a lot of videos <laughs> on how to make bracelets. She's good. She knows what she's doing. So if you guys would like to see more videos with John, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let us know in the comments down below. I think your bracelet turned out so good. All things considered, it's better than I expected it to explode on me it at least once. You didn't even drop it. Exactly. I was expecting to drop some beads at least once. Yeah. I made it a little long at the beginning. I think but you did great. At the end, I succeeded. I yeah. think I think overall. I it looks think we pretty good. make some more videos trying out different types of beads if you want to. Oh, I would love to use, yeah. use the bead spinner. I think it would be so much fun. I think the conclusion of this video is I need to really get my verbiage down for teaching you guys how to tie knots. I think all it is is just different, like, like I think I understood the sh shoelace knot yeah. the best. Like, I that's think what I might need to made do the most logical research, sense in my mind. And I think, too, what might be helpful if I get some, like, colorful thread. I thought you said you had colorful string. I don't have it anymore. Oh, okay. But if I did, like, that uh, friendship bracelet material and did a mm -hmm. slow video, like, overhead view Do of some slow-mo yeah. views. So if you guys think that would be a fun video of how to tie the knot, let me know as well. But I had so much fun. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. And we'll see you guys back here very soon. Bye, Bye. guys.